Good morning, good morning, Facebook. What's happening today? We got everybody warming up in the background here for the 6 a.m. workout. Getting in here bright and early today. And that's the whole thing I want to bring up today is I've gotten more done in the last 40 minutes than some people might get done all day. So the whole idea is like you cannot just approach each day and wing it. You might be, but if you are, you are that person I guarantee that is frustrated. Never seems like they get ahead. Um, you feel like the world owes you something, or I don't know what it is, but normally the people that just wing it and go day to day without a plan, without a battle plan, those are the people that are most stressed, most frustrated, and those are all the people that also have the most amount of excuses in their lives. Do you know who I'm talking about? Is it you? Um, that's the whole thing, man. It's like it really comes down to it. If you start, you know, just kind of going day by day and going through the motions, you will never commit 100% to anything. So when I woke up this morning, I knew exactly what things I had to get done. I knew what posts I had to make, what things I had to send. Uh, my clients have already received an email from me this morning. The email is titled My Gift to You. So hopefully you open that up this morning if you're on my email list. Um, but really it comes down to this. It's like there's four and a half weeks or so, four weeks left in this year. And so many people are going to wait until the new year to make a decision to start getting healthy, to start doing stuff. But the problem is, is just then is when they're going to start to go through the motions and start to wing it. Um, if you're that type of person who wings it, you better start now. Or you better start last year because fitness is something that takes a long time to get your grasp around and kind of get the basic idea. Of. Um, fitness is about molding it to you and your lifestyle and, and what your likes and needs and schedule and things like that are. So if you're not at least attempting something now, when you start to wing it in January, you're still going to be going through the same motions and the same frustrations in February and March and April. And then you'll be one of those people that come in my summer promotions and you'll be starting back then. So the whole thing is you got to start working your plan now. So what we're going to be doing next week, and I believe it's next Monday is we're going to make the date, but I will uh, post it in this feed here. We're going to do a 2017 goals vision board. We're going to do it on that board right over there. And we'll do it on Facebook Live next Monday night. The whole idea is you need to plan out what your goals are. If your goal is to lose 30 pounds next year or in three months or in six months, it's not just going to happen. Uh, you can't just start eating better and think it's going to happen tomorrow. You can't just start exercising and think it's going to happen next week. It's not how it goes. So it's putting together a battle plan. It's uh, making your plan, working your plan, and knowing kind of what those next steps are. But if you are winging stuff in your life, I promise you are one of those frustrated and uh, irritable people in your life. So quit making excuses for why you can't plan. Guys, more than anything, you just got to write everything down. So pack up your list, write everything you want, and then start to prioritize it each and every single day. So that's where I set everything up. And the night before I go to sleep, I go ahead and get everything laid out for the next day. So I know every single thing that will be happening. I even plan down, whoop, I'm going to knock stuff off the box here. I even plan down to what our meeting topics are going to be. Everything needs to be done in the order and the priority. So you need to do the same thing with your health and fitness. If your goal is to say your shoulder's feeling better, well then you got to start a shoulder stretching routine. You got to start a shoulder rehab routine. But it's not just going to start feeling better. If you have crappy knees, if you have a bad back, like it's not just going to start getting better. And if that was your excuse or that was your hold up last year for exercising, or if that was your hold up and what stopped you from getting in better shape last year, well you better address it now because if you start in January and just kind of wing it again, those problems are still going to be waiting for you. So again, start figuring out what your strengths are, your weaknesses are, start making a battle plan, start figuring out what you want to get out of this most and that's how you're going to get it done. So if you need help, that's my job. That's my biggest gift you can give to me is let me help you in this upcoming year. My biggest gift to you is let me help you. I will be there every step of the way. I've helped over, I guess, through boot camp now. We're at 1,300 people in the last five years have been through these doors. It's a lot of bodies, and that's a lot of experiences with different types of schedules, lifestyles, food habits, uh, good habits, bad habits, whatever habits it be. But I've been through it, and I've helped all these people. Let me help you. If you try and do things on your own, if you try and change your own oil or cut your own grass or you like to do things on your own, like go for it. That's fine. But if you were that person that's tired of being frustrated, you want to cut down that, uh, what is that, the, uh, the mistakes, if you want to cut down the timetable of which it takes to get in that shape, if you want to cut down the frustrations, guys, I'm your man. I'm here to help you. And again, all these other people here, they're here to help you too. And that's the beauty of a group environment is everybody is here to help the next person because each one of them has been that new person. Each one of them has had that day one. So make your choices got to put everything in priority. Work your plan, guys. Don't just wing life. It's not going to happen. So when it comes to work, when it comes to your goals, when it comes to your fitness, make sure you write down that battle plan. Make sure you start working your plan from the second you wake up and don't just wing it. Because if not, that plan is going to work you today. Hello, hello. Good morning, Facebook. 
So we're in here even before anybody else shows up. I think the first car just pulled into the parking lot. So one of the biggest things I heard yesterday uh, from the video as far as setting your plans and working your plans, you know, it's like, do you work your plan or does your plan work you? And a lot of times it comes down to proper detailing and planning with uh, what you're trying to accomplish. So what we were talking about is just listing out your goals. If you don't list out your goals, you don't know if you've gotten there when you actually achieve them. Um, not only that, one of the biggest things that I find is I looked up a study and 80% of people fail their New Year's resolutions. Well, guess what? Four out of five people watching this, that's you. So uh, we need to do something different this year. And a lot of times your uh, resolutions are the same next year that they were the previous year. And that was one of the biggest findings of this study that I was looking at. So, how do we change it for next year? And like I said, one of the cool things that, you know, it, it, with Facebook Live is feedback and interaction. So same thing, people are watching now, you can kind of pull the same thing, like what's your feedback from yesterday's video? The big one is, I write a plan, but sometimes I don't always get it done. Or sometimes things come up. Well, here's the two things that I want to go with you today. One, is your list and your goals, you need to break it down to a sequence of steps. Like, losing 30 pounds is never just going to happen, but exercising a certain amount of days per week, making sure you get a certain amount of meals in per day, uh, maybe hitting certain protein numbers, but there's going to be steps to hit each goal, and if you don't try and work on those steps, you're never going to accomplish this big picture, okay? Opening this building wasn't just something like, open the building, fill it up. Uh, making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich isn't just take bread, take peanut butter, take jelly, and put it together. Like, you got to grab a knife, you got to put a certain amount on. So, everything needs to be detailed. So, if you're not working your plan all the way and things come up throughout the day, if you break, say, a, a goal into four or five different action steps and you reach two or three of them, well, guess what? Tomorrow, all it's going to take is just those last two or three to reach your goal. When it's not a complete wash yesterday and it's not a complete wash today, you just put two days together to make a whole piece of the puzzle. So don't always throw in the towel when something comes up in that last minute or something comes up where you don't reach the goal in that sense. So that was step number one. Step number two is this. The other side of it is the New Year's resolutions that I was looking at in that study of 80%. It's by mid-February that people quit their goals. And one of the biggest things is that A, was planning that they said. But number two, people lost the excitement of what got them going in the first place. So on your to-do list, on your goals, on your whatever, you gotta make sure you know why the heck you're doing it. If you're just doing it because you're trying to go through the motions, that's one thing. But if it's because it's gonna change your life, it's gonna make everybody in your life better around you, if it's going to be because you're gonna get a promotion at work, but you gotta remember the excitement. And if you don't, you're just going through the motions and just kinda living this boring life. So the whole idea is you gotta make sure every single day you're not only attacking your plan, but you're attacking the steps that make up the plan. So hopefully that fills in the gaps from yesterday. Hopefully that kinda gets a more clear and concise view on this whole thing. But again, Guys, you got to take that plan. you got to take those action steps. you got to work them one by one. So today we're going to talk about being a control freak, which control freak sometimes gets that uh, stigma of being something bad in your life. But really, if you're a control freak, it just means you want what you want for yourself and you want what you want for uh, your life and everything uh, around you. If you're not a control freak, if you're somebody who says, oh, I don't like to, you know, I like to take things as they come and I like to whatever. No, that just means you let other people run your life and you let circumstances run your life. And more than anything, you let noise run your life. So the way I look at it, every single day I have control over maybe the first hour of my morning and maybe two hours depending on what the schedule is when you wake up. So the rest of the day, like that's when coworkers get involved, that's when um, life, that's when stress, that's when anything else unexpected can come up. But you control the first hour, two hours of your day. So you really have to plan everything out. And so we've talked about the last couple of days. We talked about Monday planning. We talked about yesterday breaking down your goals into little achievable steps. So today we're going to take that one step further. So what we're going to end up doing, it's uh, December 19th. I believe we have the date set for at 745. We're going to do for the first time ever a 2017 uh, vision board uh, for your goals. And what we're going to do is we're going to take New Year's resolutions. We're going to break those down into achievable minute little steps so that way you have control over your big goals so when you're looking at stuff like this i mean to me if i woke up in the morning and i didn't have my gym clothes ready if i didn't have my to-do list ready uh if we didn't have the gym completely all set up well how would that start my morning it would start with chaos okay so what we look for a day ahead of time is we're like you know what do we need for the workout what do i need for the morning what do i need to be there on time what do i need to have my coffee ready in the morning so all that stuff gets planned the night before, all that stuff gets set up the night before, so that way in the morning you're just following the steps and you're following the action steps. So 
I wanted to kind of give another perspective of life of that when we were talking yesterday about breaking down like weight loss goals into achievable steps. You do this already with some of the things in your life and what you just don't realize is those are the things you're probably most effective at. So you need to kind of duplicate that and put that into other steps of your life. So if you're that person and somebody brought up uh, planning a party yesterday, man, it's so perfect because when you plan a party, you think about, okay, what are our games going to be? What are our events going to be? What's our theme going to be? Uh, who's bringing what dish? Who's doing... Like, you don't wait till the day before and you're like, hey, we're having a party. Who's bringing this? You know, it doesn't happen that way. Or you don't say, oh, I'm going to go for my workout. Uh, where's my clothes? Where's my meal? Where's my post-workout meal? Where's my water bottle? Where's my shoes? Where's my clean socks? Where's No, like, you got to have that stuff ready. So, again, like, parlay that stuff that you're successful with in the rest of your life. Maybe write down some of those things of, like, what makes you successful either at your job or at party planning or at whatever it happens to be. But figure out what are those missing steps that you're putting into other parts of your life that you're not putting into your fitness and your health and your weight loss because that's probably what's missing from your life. So I'm going to give you a quick example real quick. So, again, we talked about working out. With working out... I mean, it's not just waking up and showing up and driving to the gym. So the stuff I have ready the night before, like we talked about, is the workout. Like everything is laid out on the floor. Um, everything's written out the night before. I send it to clients who need modifications for injuries. But if I had to do that all spur of the minute last night and send modifications for a workout, I didn't know what the hell we were doing. What am I going to help anybody with? So again, so then it's putting all together clothes. So now I put together two or three outfits of clothes for the morning. I probably only need one, but what happens if I spill something? What happens if I put it on and I realize there's a stain in the morning? Well, guess what? I got backups. But if I have to run back in the house or if I have to leave here and go back home, we're all screwed. So take that same example, take those same scenarios, and you've got to put that into every aspect of your life. And if you can start doing that, and especially when it comes to your fitness, your nutrition, your meals, you're going to be so much more successful. And then the other thing, too, is then you're going to start to put that into other aspects of your life as well. So, again, today's tip is take what you do well in life, figure out what makes you good at that particular thing, whether it's you just have like a, a dying love for it or there's just like that passion that you love or is there something that's a little bit more uh, deeper than that that's uh, you plan better, you are ahead of things, uh, whatever it happens to be. But look into your life and see what things you're good at and take control in other areas of your life. People look at a control freak as a bad thing. I look at it as a good thing because, again, if you're not in control, somebody else is. And when it comes to my life, I want to make sure I'm in control of that, and hopefully you do too. Good morning. Good morning, Facebook. Opening up Live Fit Now. So today is step four. Today is the final day of this four-day uh, little series of how to set goals for this upcoming year. How to crush your goals more than anything for 2017. How to make sure that this year just your, um, your resolutions aren't just like some hope and wish that they're actually some sort of reality. So we talked about day one. Are you controlling your schedule? Does your, controller, does your schedule control you? Um, the next day we talked about kind of breaking it into many little parts of your goals. So that way if uh, chaos hits the fan, um, I know Deanna Wade, a few people have mentioned that they make a plan, but they just can't ever follow through with it. So the whole idea is break it down into little mini steps. So even if your day does get interrupted, you still kick ass in that day and you still get stuff done. So then yesterday we talked about kind of the whole uh, over planning. You want to be like a party planner with all your goals. It's not just showing up and having a party. It's all the different steps, all the people that need to make up that party. It's who's bringing the dish. It's who's setting the theme. Who's getting everything that needs to be done to make sure that the party is a success. Well, that's the same exact thing. You're not just going to lose 50 pounds over this next year. So if your goal right now is to lose 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds, well, guess what? You're going to have to keep that goal and that momentum and that positivity and that uh, mindset for more than just a couple weeks. And the sad thing is, is we are in like this society of like bouncing from thing to thing to thing. And that's not the way fitness works. So the whole idea is like, think about anything. Have you done anything you stuck to for a year straight? It's really tough. Um, we were watching something yesterday about Tom Brady who's won 201 games. And they were saying, what have you done 201 times? And like, when you really put that into perspective, not much, okay? So maybe except for changing your uh, password because you can't remember it from the day before or whatever it is. But outside of that, we have not done anything 201 times. So with setting these goals, with setting these massive goals for this next upcoming year, and then also breaking them down to little mini steps and kind of keeping that um, excitement alive for the whole you know, duration until you reach that goal, the only way to do that and the only way to really be successful at that that I know of is you need to set deadlines. So that is step for today. So that's what we want to talk about is setting deadlines and realistic deadlines. So 
Today is going to be quick, it's going to be short, because I'm going to give you a deadline. So what we're doing is we're going to be doing a 2017 live vision board goal setting uh, Facebook live session. It's going to be at 745, I believe the date is December 19th. Let me check the calendar here. And we're going to go ahead and post it, yeah, December 19th. So we're going to go ahead and post that and make it a live event and go in that type of uh, direction so you know what's coming and you, you can plan for it. But the key with that is like, that is going to be your first deadline for homework. So what I want you to do between now and then is I want you to write at the big top, write one big goal you're trying to achieve. And I want you to break that into three different action steps or three different departments to make sure that goal is successful. So say for instance, it's fitness. Okay. So like one of them would be making sure you pack all your clothes the night before, um, and maybe your meals or a pro post-workout protein shake. Step two maybe would be uh, packing your or prepping your meals or planning out your meal plan on Saturday or Sunday each week and going grocery shopping. And maybe step three would be something like make sure you make three or four workouts each week or something like that. So I want you to break into your little individual goals. From that, I want you to break each one of those things into three other goals. So what are going to be the three steps that are going to help you to make sure that you have all your clothes packed each day and that you have your post-workout shake or whatever it is packed each day? Um, how you're going to make sure that you plan out your meals and all that stuff. So you're going to break that into three different steps. And then how are you going to make sure that you make it to three different or four different workouts every single week? I want you to break that into three different steps. So at the bottom, you should have at least nine little blocks of nine different action steps that are approachable, that are manageable, that are easy to take on, that are going to help to lead to all that big goal at the top, okay? Because without achieving all those little mini goals and those mini steps, you're never gonna hit that goal at the top. So your deadline is Monday, December 19th at 7.45 p.m. We will have a Facebook Live event. We'll be going right in front of that big whiteboard right there and breaking every single step down of what it takes to have a successful fitness transformation in 2017. And this could be any level you are at in your fitness journey. You could have already lost 20 pounds or you could be at your first pound that you're trying to lose. It doesn't matter. The steps, the actions, everything is all the same. Don't make it more than it is. Don't try and make it harder than it is. Follow the steps. Follow the game plan. Um, take it just like an Ikea freaking uh, little assembly guide. If anybody's ever seen that, somehow it turns into this big dresser or this big project or this big bed frame or whatever it is. But damn, do they break it down into a bunch of little steps. And if they just handed you a bag of those crazy tools and crazy little attachments and they said, put this bed together, it would never happen. All right. So, but when they give you all the steps, they break it down step by step. You get it done. All right, so that is my tip for today. Today's Thursday. Today's going to be the last day that we're going to go through this. So step one through four. Um, I'm going to try and go ahead and cut all these together and put this into one big video for this weekend so you can follow through. But again, guys, make goals. you got to crush the goals. The only way that you can do that, though, is to not get overwhelmed by them. So you're going to control the chaos. You're going to control your schedule. You're going to break those things down into little mini steps. So even if you get interrupted, you're still making accomplishments. Then just like yesterday, you're going to master those individual little steps. And now today, you're going to set goals and deadlines for each one of those steps. If you do that, I am confident and I know for a fact because I've seen it happen with hundreds and thousands before, you will have results. Guys, this isn't just something exclusive to live fit. You look at fitness all across the world and all across the industry. It's consistency. It's dedication. You just have to put the time and the effort in. It's not going to just happen for you. All right? So just like with anything else, you're successful in your life. Let's put that time, that dedication into it, and let's keep that fire and that passion alive for the entire 2017. Any other goals you have, I want to hear about them because we're also going to make a download page for this vision board day, and we're going to have all sorts of other little examples, whether you're trying to get a new job, whether you're trying to get a raise, whether you're trying to whatever it is. Um, but I'm going to make some individual little vision boards for each one of these. So let me know what you want to hear about. Let me know what the next steps are for you for December 19th. And we will cover them that day. Everybody for watching, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next time. Peace.